All right, uh, my name is Jesus Alaniz. Um, I am Hispanic. My name is Jason Combs, I'm 22, and I am half white and half black. I'm Ruthie Hutchins. I am 18 years old, half black, half Mexican. When I was around uh, seven years old, I went to, to a, a golf club, like a country club. And uh, I went to actually uh, be a caddy for some golfers. Yeah, we stopped at a rest stop in Kentucky. As soon as we got out of the car, it was like me and him were like the only black people. All, you know, everyone there was, uh, they were all white. I took IB classes. Of course, out of the 30 of us, I was the only minority of any form. Yeah. And then we go inside and go in the bathroom and there's just like a bunch of racist stuff written all over the walls. And I got really uncomfortable because I had never really experienced that. Around one o'clock was when, uh, when, when there was nobody left. You know, I got there at ten o'clock. Every kid had been being picked up by a golfer throughout the entire day. At lunchroom, pro southern racist type guys, and whichever table I'd sit at, they just flick food at me. I definitely always n knew that I was different than everyone else, but it never really affected my my daily life. I know a lot of people who feel like they're they're almost handicapped. They're held down by their race. They're, I didn't feel that handicap like a lot of kids so felt. You can't you can't put a label on people because everyone is so different. I'm fine with me. If people have a problem with it, it's okay. I'm not bitter anymore. But everything that I've worked through to get to where I am right now, um, I didn't get through it you know, complaining about, you know, being Mexican. Yeah, really, this is America, though. I mean, everybody has some kind of ethnicity, pretty much. No one is American, you know, besides Native Americans. Right. That's what nobody really realizes. And for one race in this melting pot to say that they're better than all the other ones is like... Dude, ra racism and prejudice is strictly ignorance. That's all it is. I've always been the kind of person to like investigate people that I don't understand, you know, like yeah. I, I wanted to learn about their culture, like I was always asking like, oh, why do you guys do that? And basically, just stand up for humanity, not just a specific race, stand up for humanity. This is humanity that we're talking about. We're not you should just sort of like get over the face value of what a person is and sort of just get used to the fact that they're a human being. When you can just meet people and deal with people without passing judgment on them, then, you know, you could really portray the kind of person that is accepting to everyone, you know. I am human. I am a silly guy. Yeah. I'm wonderful. My name is Jason Combs. I'm Ruthie Hutchins. My name is Jesus Alaniz, and I am this land.